Welcome everyone back to Discovery, Freelancer Discovery, Discovery Freelancer, whatever we're going to call it. And uh, today we have a couple topics, uh, more like one topic that touches that touches a lot of topics uh, that are my concern. And um, I should have done that a little while ago, but I was trying out different games and stuff with my new PC finally. And the uh, topic is about obviously the outcome of the uh, Gallic War, right? So, uh, I've been thinking, I used to fly council back in the day a lot, but uh, not a lot, it's not full hours, early, but like up now and then, and uh, nowadays we have so many new ideas with the council faction itself, I came into liking the faction again and flying it so i'm um, wondering how it will affect the council now right so there were a lot of talks i watched spazzy's interview with the randall and uh on Sealy, and uh, even though they didn't reveal like details uh some speculate that the council might take over the GRN or replace GRN, whatever. I'm not sure if there was an official statement. If I am talking something wrong, whatever, correct me in the comment section, please. So I'm not that up to date. But uh, I have to say, yes, it it is finally about time that the war ends, right? We, many of us have been waiting for it to end, uh, that the devs sh shift focus on different factions that actually need it. And um, so this is all in all good, uh, positive in whatever way. So there are a couple of things I want to touch. Uh, my most concern is probably uh, the factions that have been involved in this war. How they going to be afterwards, right? Because I have asked in uh, the first interview, I guess I asked that. So how will be the uh, alliances? with Bretonia and the rest uh, whatever non-aggression pacts Bretonia have dealt with the faction. This includes also the outcasts. So I'm wondering so I asked uh, what, what will happen to that? Will they break down? Will they break apart? Whatever. And Durandal said I hope so, right? So I hope that the, uh, the alliance will, will be fractured and people will be like, you know, uh breaking the alliances and stuff but he said i will say one thing though the bretonia will be more active in omegas right which i will touch on soon so um obviously as a coalition player you already know i had that was definitely one thing i wanted to know since the sra signed the non-aggression pact right uh, because of the gallic war now that it's over, they shouldn't have any excuses anymore to support Bretonia, since, like many said, those are like two different ideologies and stuff. That wouldn't make sense for them to stick together, even after the war, right? So, uh, <laughs> uh, in my opinion, the coalition, uh, especially the SCRA, would have to choose here what they're gonna do next, because. Many of their all allies, uh, including the Red Hessians and Mollies, have been fighting against the BAF, even with the Gallic threat, right? So, uh, after this war is over, how would that impact them in relationship wise? But I guess after seeing uh, Reeves' com channel to the Gaians about the co coalition status quo changing, I guess they are slowly going. Yeah, towards that direction, that, that direction, whatever. So I heard <laughs> Gallic, the Gallic King will be running away or something. So um, the GRN is kind of backing off, so to say, We're focusing on the civil war inside Gallia with council and stuff. So um, uh, Durandal mentioned something about, well, yeah, we will look how the factions will be affected but also some factions have to deal with the consequences i'm wondering if the grn is getting replaced by the council so let's just talk hypothetically 
how would that affect the uh, MRG? Because some people say there wouldn't be a Gallic Exile faction after this. So I'm just curious. Hold on a second. So I'm just curious what will happen to the MRG, right? How will they uh, play then if the fa if their faction literally doesn't exist? Will they have to merge into councils so they'll be just uh, part of the the new Gallia, so to say, with the council? <laughs> but I guess we'll have to see since the events are still going. I think the events are not finished unless I uploaded this video like really late, which I'm sorry. At this point, the event could be finished. So I am actually curious about the new Gallia. So some people also speculated said that the Gallia will be focusing more on the civil wars, right? Because I mean, there are the uh, Macri, there are the uh, the Union Corps, the Gallic Brigands, whatever council uh, as the uh, unlawful factions that have been fighting the uh, government and against the king. Uh, the, uh, my question would be how would they play in that role like the Marquis and stuff uh, they, they have been split apart from the council but they still yet uh, work together with the council and uh, acquiring different whatever objectives like finishing like having same targets and stuff so after the council would take over Gallia so to say how would that affect them so to say and um what I'm most curious about is if the council takes over, so to say, what will their relationships be? Because that Gallia went into a full war was a problem with people, especially Bretonia and such. So does that mean the, the new Gallia is just going to be a neutral house? Like the uh, zoners and stuff, like or, or what Kusari has been. So I'm wondering if the council will actually move on <laughs> and uh, have new objectives, maybe because like Kusari has been falling under JRN uh, influence before, and uh, Rhineland has been trading partners, right? So I wonder if they would be like, hey, you know, you guys have been supporting the king all of, all until now, so. Uh, how about screw off, right? You know, uh, we'll take the war back to back to back to you. But even though I mean, they weren't really, uh, they didn't have a choice. Like Kusari literally didn't have a different choice. But um, well, how would that be? Like, will the council be waging wars against other houses again, or the, or the new Gallia, so to say, or will Gallia just be an isolated bubble with? Uh, civil wars all over again right so going back to the uh, affected factions by this war as i said there's this one topic is the gal at the end of the gallic war and there will be different topics that it touches so uh i mentioned the coalition but there are also the mollies so there was obviously there is no official molly faction right now i understand that However, the Mollies have been a really long last ally of the coalition. So how will they play in this part since the coalition didn't really support them in this? And now that I guess there could be a, hey, you know, the Gallic threat is over. Uh, we had to do this. Hey, Mollies, you're, you know, you're invited back or whatever. The Mollies are like, okay, fine. Uh, as long as you don't do that again or some shit, you know. Uh, but I, I saw that the, the, the coalition is reaching out to Gaians, which is also interesting. And um, this also, speaking of b breaking alliances, the GRN was kind of allied to the Custodi, right? The Corsairs. The Custodi disbanded late uh, last week or so. So, um,. There, there is only the Brotherhood left, if I remember correctly. Uh, so, and they, they were against the whole Gallic alliance from the beginning, right? So I'm wondering, uh, how will people look at the Corsairs now? Right now that they broke up, and uh, I, I, I don't think the Corsair will pursue 
with the Galax, I mean, uh, th all they planned was kind of uh, grabbing Cambridge and like different parts of Bretonia. Uh, now that the king is kind of running back, what are, what are the Corsairs left with? Do they have to retreat? Retreat all of their ships back to the uh, um, motherland or whatever? And uh, how will that affect their uh, lore? advancement so to say in the omegas and bretonia will they still be part in bretonia at all so it's weird though now now that i mentioned corsairs i will come back to the uh, outcast thing right breaking alliances so to say the outcasts as many of you have read have been announced as the uh, successors of Hispania, right? So, I'm just curious, how will that affect them now, right? Now that the Gallic War is ending, are they still a legit successor of the House Hispania? Or are they gonna go back into war again? Because usually Arkas have been fighting Pusaria and Bretonia, so. It would be a little bit boring if they go into an alliance all of a sudden, right? Uh, this also leaves the uh, the um, Criterion Republic out, which was helping Bretonia. <laughs> and uh, there were some talks about Bretonia and Outcast going after uh, Crater, right? Which is also weird. So I'm like just wondering if 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 they will continue acknowledging outcasts as a house like a Spaniard success or whatever you want to ha have it uh, how will that affect the new Gallia and of course Crater ha having these relationships with Liberty too so what will Liberty do will Liberty just stand there and be like yeah I guess we accept the uh, Outcast as a house now that, that would look really ridiculous. I'm just saying so and if they don't Will they be like uh, will there be a tension between Bretonia and Liberty? Which would also be kind of Weird right because Liberty has been helping Bretonia all this time uh, so Now siding with the outcast. It's a bit of a tricky situation to be in i guess bretonia could be like hey we had this huge threat we had to do that right so um right now we we are denouncing the uh, outcast as the uh, successor of Spania. or what like what, what will happen like are you gonna be like hey okay you are not the Spanish house anymore because you know the gallic war is over so fuck you guys you know what i mean which will also be interesting. I, damn, I wish I would have asked those questions in the uh, interview. <coughs> but I guess I'm <coughs> a bit too late. <coughs> That's why I wish Spazzy was on my show. <coughs> I invited him, by the way. I said, can we have like an afterwards talk, aftermath, after this uh, interview? And he kind of said, well, I wouldn't know what to talk about. And uh, uh, also, I think he's also busy lately, so I couldn't have him on the show. Uh, but uh, yeah, anyway, so these are, we, we talked about Bretonia, Omegas, and Gallia. I mentioned Kusari, right? So how will that change with Kusari being supportive of the uh, old Gallic king? Since after the civil war in Kusari, kind of the imperialists took over. Where, where will Kusari go, right? And there is this huge uh, confusion amongst houses right now where uh, the Gallic War is ending, but like their relationships between each other, as example in Sigmas, Kusari and Rhineland, right? They were at war. I'm not, I'm not sure what's now since most of the uh, players in roleplay agreed to have a non-aggression pack because they found this whole war in the Sigmas ridiculous, right? But uh, obviously, since Dev said that's also a new thing, Durandal openly admitted the uh, official factions don't have an impact on NPC lore. 
So you're just a repre representative, kind of like a clan, so to say, part of that NPC faction, right? So you don't have a say in the lore and how it advances, even though you waste so much time in role plays and getting your faction official and doing so many different role plays. Uh, so I guess I, I don't think that would affect the outcome at all, but uh, I'm, I'm curious how the rhineland Kusari war would end. Uh, I'm just thinking if they want to do it right, they should just go with Kusari uh, turning against, against Liberty and Rhineland uh, turning against Bretonia in the Omegas. That would be interesting. Because there are a lot of factions in Omegas that could have their activity revived, right? You have the core, you have the IMG, Red Hessians, Coalition, Corsairs, uh, Bretonia, Rhineland, whatever, right? And uh, giving Rhineland and Bretonia maybe a zone of influence in all Omegas, because, I mean, Durandal mentioned that the Bretonia will be more active in Omegas, right? With them having this uh, zone of influence uh, expanded, fighting each other inside those uh, Omega sectors, systems, and having the op opposition, right, the other uh, revolutionary factions and uh, pyro factions, whatever, fighting them would turn that into a constant war and conflict zone, right? Which would be interesting and obviously a boost for player activity. But um, there are also rumors that I heard from different players uh, that's definitely not going to be a thing apparently Rhineland is going to support Bretonia more so now which I kind of don't understand because they took over Allen shipyard right right at their border system at Rhineland Omega 7 and they were like kind of pushing uh, their stuff forward so I'm kind of like why would Rhineland allow them even go that far right but I guess we'll have to see other than that, let's go back to Gallia. Um, now that, again, if the co council takes over Gallia, their alliances with the uh, Gallic Brigands, Maqui, and Union Corps there, how would that change the factions at all? Because um, let's say, okay, we got Gallia, and Gallia is now open for whatever, peoples, people of Gallia, and you guys can stop with your unlawful actions or whatever because gallic brigands are literally rogues in gallia right and uh Marquis are just terrorists aka xenos in gallia union corps are hogosha in gallia so to say so they're all they're, they have all these unlawful factors with pirating and stuff which makes me wonder how they would actually play out now if council takes over unless council has to be, has to like decide are we gonna keep those alliances or be like well guys fuck you or something you know you're on, on your own if you're gonna attack our citizens well we're gonna attack you if you're gonna stay uh, neutral and uh, helpful you can live it's like Gallia right so there are many questions around right now I guess uh, many of you would say, yeah, all, all right, let's just wait for the events to end and let's see what's, what the outcome is, right? But uh, I just wanted to uh, share my opinions right now and my views, uh, questions that I didn't ask. And uh, hopefully you guys will have some answers on the uh, comment sections. Um, I would really like that if you would uh, respond respond here and uh, maybe I'll do another video which I could touch on those answers uh, maybe after the event you know but um, that's so much for my concerns here on the Gallic uh, war at the end of Gallic war and uh, if you have any questions be sure to ask me also guys i uh, remember i said yeah we're we're doing the interviews so i did vi we'll go on industrial even though i kind of want a more thorough interview with uh, leon the uh, faction leader and uh, i did uh, one with velvet that was really great i i i like that we accomplished uh, like a basis for how these interviews could work right 
and uh, I just wish you guys would be a bit more uh, interactive because I, I all I saw was like Rogue on the first uh, video he said ask some questions about the uh, RM right so I actually went to Bannern and he asked the uh, first in charge like the leader of Rhinomet if it would be okay for him to talk and apparently he was okay with that so I am gonna have um, Bannon on my show, we're gonna talk about the Ryan military and uh, where Rhineland is going right now. So please, guys, I'm begging you to uh, submit me questions so uh, I can ask these on the interview. And uh, I did also invite the Blood Dragons leader, Slappy, uh, Auxesia, aka Nyx. Uh, I asked for Lif again for the core, he still uh, didn't give me a clear answer. Then we had, um, who else was it there? Oh yeah, I have Lanaco. Oh, so this was, this is, this is going to be interesting, especially for the event outcome and such. I asked Lanikov to, uh, join me in the show and he was okay with it. He said, sure, we can do that. Uh, so we will talk about Gallia more deeply and detailed with, uh, Lanikov and, uh, in his interview, you know, about, uh, MRG, what, what's going to happen with them now, right? Uh, so uh, be sure to um, tune in for that. I will definitely notify you guys in the, in my Discord channel and in Discovery Forum under uh, Media Center where I mostly upload my videos. So you can check that out. But uh, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.